All right, everybody, we are here. We're gonna do a food review right there. We got ourselves a chicken Philly, no mayonnaise. Add, what is my favorite condiment? Barbecue. Yum, look at that bad boy. Looky at that. Yeah, boy. All right, let's get into it. Let's see how it tastes. Get the lid off my drink. Dank, my dank. All right, which side are we going? We we go on this side first. Look at that cheese pull. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, boy. Look at that. Huh. Oh, huh. Hmm. There's cheese everywhere. Do we have any napkins? Not really. I hope it's falling apart. Open up the bread and scoop it up. Oh, it's so good. It tastes fresh. It don't taste like something you got at a fast food restaurant, which it is, it's in a, a restaurant inside a mall. But they pound the chicken thin. That way, whenever they cook it on the griddle or the flat top, whatever you want to call it, restaurants a lot of times call them flat tops. They're griddles. They're basically big black stones. It takes no time to cook it because the chicken is very thin. I got lettuce on mine and barbecue sauce. I don't do mayonnaise. We all know it's the nastiest substance in the world and it is gross, it's disgusting, it's repulsive, it's the texture. Ugh. To me, it's more of a texture thing than anything. And it's basically blended oil with a couple other ingredients, so. But, uh. The bread tarty. It's holding up good. Toasted, but not hard. Like Dane might say on Dane Drops food reviews. It's not exactly a soft bun action. It, it, it's soft. It, it does crack a little bit from where it was toasted, but that's to be expected. The, the edge is a little bit more toasted than everything else, but I don't mind having a little bit of hard edge. So this is phenomenal. I highly recommend Charlie Steak or Cheese Steaks. I think it used to be called Charlie Steakery or, or it might have been Charlie's Philly Cheese Steaks or something. But anyways, you saw the logo at the beginning. Andy. I love this. I've tried their loaded fries. I wasn't that big of a fan of those before. I've had this before, but he's the first one out of all of them. Whenever I tell him I wanted barbecue sauce on it, he didn't just squirt a little dab on the top. Before he put the cheese on it, he squirted barbecue sauce all over the chicken, and then that, and then he chopped it up together with the veggies, with the barbecue sauce heating up on it on the grill, and that has gotten me flavor all the way through. 
more so than just a couple bites around along the top mad props to you dude mad props only thing i didn't like you're using the same utensils for steak as you were chicken you're supposed to separate the two because some people don't eat red meat i don't eat well i occasionally eat a burger so that's why i didn't say anything i used to didn't eat any red meat at all but i still prefer turkey burgers to regular burgers that's me but it's going for another bite Oh. Oh. Flavor is perfect. I had to get me some of that strawberry water. Because I hit some scolding cheese that was burning the, the back of the throat there. Quit eating, sorry. I have crushed half of it. It's amazing. I recommend going. If we're doing a scale of one to five, honestly, my cheese could have been melted a little bit more on this one half. So I'd probably give it a 4.5. The part I would like better about it. Is I could have handled a little bit more cheese. That's just me. And maybe a few more bell peppers. He gave me a bunch, a bunch of onions and a bunch, a bunch of mushrooms. He just gave me sporadic bell peppers. I love bell peppers. So that'll be the end of our food review here with energy. But uh, sorry, I don't know. I was trying to do something funny. But uh, we'll go ahead, stop it right here. God bless you all. Have a great day. Go out there. Enjoy yourself some food. Whatever type of food it is you like. God bless. Bye. Later. See you soon.